Hey, Cleaning Nation, ever listen to the show and think, if I could just get this guy to help me out, I would save so much time and frustration, or my life would be awesome if I could just get a few of these systems they're actually talking about actually implemented in my business? Well, if that's you, I've got some spectacular news. I am hosting our first ever live event. We are personally going to walk through the clean profit method with no more than 16 owners and cleaning companies in just two and a half days. I cannot wait to get to know you and your business personally and implement the entire clean profit method together. If this is scratching where you itch, stop watching or listening to the show right now and go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash live to get all the details. Like I said, I can't wait to get to know you and your business personally and implement the entire clean profit method. GrowMyCleaningCompany.com forward slash live. Check it out now. I'll see you soon. Cleaning Nation, welcome to another episode of the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast. As always, we start the show by thanking you for being super fantastic, amazing. Thank you for subscribing, rating, and reviewing on iTunes. Uh, I can't tell you how helpful that is to what we do and how we do it, and it's exactly what you need to do if you want us to keep the uh, cleaning content and how to grow your company coming. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have personally left a review, I want to personally thank you. Uh, reach out to me, tag me in the Facebook group, just let me know who you are and where you left a review so I can personally thank you and maybe see if I can do something nice for you to show you my appreciation. Um, and of course, if you want the latest and greatest on how to get the financial freedom, the time freedom, uh, build the business that you can probably see so clearly in your head, if you want help on how to do all of that, it's all at growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now. Today, we are chatting with Reginald Smith from Heartfelt Cleaning Service Incorporated. They've been serving the Springfield, Illinois area since 2008. If you want to reach out to Reginald and his team, you can hold them at www.heartfeltcleaninginc.com. Com. Reginald, welcome to Cleaning Nation. Thank you so much. I'm glad you had me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, glad to have you on, man. How? Uh, so it's been 10 years. What What brought you into the business in the first place? Well, you know, wanted to get financial freedom, wanted to, to, to work for myself. I'm tired of, tired of having a, a supervisor or a boss, and so we wanted to get into business ourselves and, and see what, what goes on. All right, beautiful. And how has it gone for you so far? For someone that's been doing it 10 years, uh, you like it, you hate it, a little bit of both. Uh, tell some of the newer listeners well, I, uh, what your experience is. Actually, actually, I love it. Um, it's, it's no better feeling when you go into a place to see a place dirty but, and you see the before and after, after you've cleaned it and people are saying, hey, man, you did a great job. That's the great part of it. Awesome, beautiful. Well, what, uh, what's going on in your world today that maybe I can give you some help with? Well, I want to know where where's, I can go to a website or any place that I can get um, contracts bid and you know, find out when the, the contracts are coming up. I, I really love to know that. Um, you know, you get tired of working for the subcon subcontractors getting pennies on the dollar. So I really want to find out where can we find the contracts and when they come up for bids ourselves. Okay. Um, that's a great question. I think everybody would love that, like, you know, janitorialbids.com where they could just go and all the bids in their, in their, uh, area would be listed. Um, so I'll give you the good news and the bad news on that. And I don't know if that'll make you love me or hate me, but either way, it's the truth. Um, the reality of the situation is you're really not looking to, uh, even if that site existed, I, I don't know that I'd coach you on going to that place. There's a couple things there. First of all, when, once the, once it goes out to bid and everybody's got it, it's too late, right? I My least favorite thing is bidding with 17 other guys on a job walk where the low price is going to win and they're not, they don't really, they're not really looking for a specific value. So the good news and the bad news, depending on your, your point of view, is the goal is to build that list yourself, okay? People buy when they want to buy, not when we want to sell. So what that looks like in my world is I've got a list of, I don't know, approximately 5,000 owners of cleaning companies that all in some point in probably last year have raised their hand and said, I would like some more information on how to bid, how to find customers, how to keep employees, how to uh, run Facebook ads, whatever the case may be. And um, I can set up an automated system before we start recording. You said, man, I got a lot of emails from you. That is absolutely correct. But I didn't, I mean, I did write those emails, but I didn't write them when you got them, right? I, I write them once and then they just keep going on forever. So folks like you, when you get enough pain and go, God bless it, it's enough already. I want to grow or I need help or I'm sick of running around the dark. Um, you ideally, hopefully come to me and say, all right, Mike, wh what do you have? What resources? How can we work together? How can you help me? So that's exactly what you yeah. want to start doing, right? There's no list of, you know, for me, it would be a list of people that are sick of running their cleaning company and ready uh, to get help. Well, that list doesn't exist. And if it did, then there'd be a bunch of different coaches all sniffing around that same <laughs> list. Right. 
and I'm not interested in yes. that. Um, I just want to talk where I'm the only guy in the conversation, right? So you already know, like, and trust me. And when you're ready, you come to me and I help you. That's exactly what, yeah. what we want to start with commercial cleaning companies. And that's what the big guys do, right? You know, if you're one of these nationwide companies that everyone is so afraid of, um, the good news is, first of all, you're going to be much cheaper than them because they've got a ton of overhead. Second of all, they don't have that list any different than you and I do. What they have is relationships, which is much more valuable, right? A relationship, uh, yeah. a list is just a list, right? I, I don't know you. I, I may not like or even trust you. But if, if, I, if, if we have a relationship and I've been, you know, for me, it's a podcast. You've been listening to my voice in your head for the last year and a half. When you finally get fed up and say, dang it, I need more help. I'm going to take this next level. Um, you don't call me and go, so Mike, what do you got? And I don't know. And I'm going to call 16 different people and get the lowest price. You go, I know Mike, I trust this guy. I've been working for a year. Mike, here's a bunch of money. Please help me. Right. That's what we want. We don't want your people to go, well, we're finally sick of our cleaning company. We're going to put it out to bid. We're going to call 23 different people and get the lowest price. We want them to call Reginald and be like, yeah, this guy's been emailing me. He's had events that I've gone to. Um, he calls me every couple months and, and you know, every now and again, he'll send me a newspaper article that's interesting. So I've got a relationship with this guy. I already know, like, and trust him. Um, I'm just going to call Reginald. If he can get it done for a price that I like, um, I'm just going to use him. So do you see the difference between Absolutely. when they kind of poke their head up and raise their hand and say, I'm looking for a bid. You know, all you cheapies come out and give me a bid and I'm going to pick the lowest. I don't even play that game. If that was the deal, like if you called me and said, Hey Mike, um, I'm considering getting some help with my, my cleaning company. I've identified six different uh, coaches. I'm going to interview all of you and whoever the cheapest is, I'm going to go with that. I'd say best of luck, Reginald. Let me know how that shakes out. I am not yeah. interested in any way, shape or form, but somehow when it comes to cleaning Absolutely. companies, we do that, right? So, um, Absolutely. that would be my encouragement. And the, the good news is your competitors and I trust me, I talk to them. Um, they all say and feel like I just want to get stuff today, right? They, they want the kill. They want the guy that puts out a bid and they can go get it right now. And it's not sexy or it's not fun or it's not, it's, it's boring to, um, <laughs> okay. just start building a relationship. But I got to tell you those big dollar accounts, the 10, $20,000 a month accounts, I promise you those are not done unless it's a government bid generally on RFQ or RFP where they, they put out a bid. They, they know somebody, they've got relationships. And when it comes time to, they've probably got one or two people in the wings that they already know and like, and they're like, Hey, as soon as this goes bad, I'm going to call this guy. Your goal is to be that guy. You want to have dozens, if not hundreds of people that you want as your customers. Uh, if you ask them, Hey, who's your cleaner? And they say, it's Bob. Well, what happens if Bob fails? Well, there's this Reginald guy. I'm, I've almost been looking for an excuse for Bob to fail because I think he's going to be great and I'm dying to give him a spin. That's your job is to build that <laughs> list of 100 people that know, like, and trust you before they switch, not wait until they switch and then try and figure out a way to get on a short list of uh, a bunch of cheapos. Hey, Cleaning Nation, are you enjoying the show? Want to go from listening to doing? If you're committed to making this the year that you kick your company into hyper growth and actually start implementing all the systems that I coach on this show that will allow you to work on your business instead of in it, go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash live to get all the details on our upcoming live event. I'm going to personally walk you and 15 other entrepreneurs through the entire clean profit method in just two and a half days. Growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash live. Check it out now. I'll see you soon. Does that answer your question? Wow. Hey, you know what? That That's absolutely fabulous because I'm writing the notes as you're saying this. When you said build my list, build, build my list myself. And you told me you just said you have over 5,000 on the list. So that and you build relationships. So through through emails and through calls, I want to put my name in front of them. I want to make make sure as soon as something happens, they say, "Hey, I know who I can call." Man, it's wonderful. I'm yeah, taking notes as you as you tell me this right here. Perfect. And we are recording. So if you <laughs> take notes now and you can get more later, but the other thing is we don't want to, so you said everything you said was a perfect synopsis or recap of what I said. There's just one little thing I want to clarify, not just for you, but for cleaning nation. Um, we don't want to get our name in front of them because that's, that's of some value, right? What we really want is to give them value in advance. We want to show them we can help them by helping them. So Instead of me having a podcast where I'm like, hey, this is Mike, I'm with Grow My Cleaning Company, and I'm amazing, and if you ever need coaching, you should talk to me, because I'm smarter than everybody else, so, and I've been in business for 20 <laughs> years, and look how much money I have, and here's my Ferrari, and let me, you know, all that nonsense, that's all about me, I would have about three listeners, right. and I don't even know why they would be listening, right? I don't talk about me at all, right. I 
help owners of cleaning companies for free in front of God and everybody uh, live. And some people go, I like this guy. I want more of it. And some people don't. So it's not getting my name out there. Hey, Mike, 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 growing cleaning company, growing. It's not that at all. It's just giving a ton of value in advance for free. So a lot of my listeners listen and go, wow, that guy would be amazing to coach me. And if I was going to get a coach, it'd be him. So I just want to try change one thing from getting your name out there, which is not what we're looking to do to giving massive amounts of value to the people that you want to do business with. So they go, Oh my gosh, if this is what it's like, just being on his list, right? Just raising my hand and say, I'd like some help. And you're just giving all this valuable information. Um, what would it be like to have this guy as my, as my cleaner? Like it must be a phenomenal. So wow. the goal is to give as wow. much value as possible in advance. And then when it comes time to bid, it's just like anything else. The referral is the best way to go, right? You want um, them to feel like when they go, you know, someone comes, compl- oh, the stupid cleaners, they screwed up again. I'm so sick of them. We need to go to bed. You want the right guy, your guy, to go. Don't worry about. It. I got a buddy. I know a guy. That you want to be the guy. Wow. When they go, I know a guy. They want that guy to be Reginald. Okay. So the way you do that yeah. is you just give value upon value upon value before they ask. And uh, again, depending on how big your customers are for, for residential, you wouldn't go to this length, but for commercial, you might know if there's a guy that's got a five or $10,000 a month uh, cleaning contract, you might know what college he went to. And if he's a fan and if he is a fan, you might, every time their football team wins or loses, you send them a little email going, ha, ah, your guys lost again, sucker. Or Hey, congratulations. <laughs> you, they look real. Right. Or you might send, you might know that his kids into uh uh, what is my kid in Dino Trucks? I don't know if anybody has a show on Netflix called Dino Trucks. My kid loves it. You might send the kid a little Dino Truck every now and again. So you're just, and again, that's not wow. on topic. That's off topic. Um, on, on top of that, you might keep uh, an eye open for if he says, hey, we're really dealing with employee headcount. And that's, it's frustrating. We got high turnover. You might, you know, when you run into somebody that knows about turnover, you might say, hey, I saw this blog or I saw this podcast and I thought you might be interested. Just check this thing out. You might buy a book for 20 right. bucks on employee turnover and, and send it to them. Right. I had a customer that I knew wow. uh, uh, like Nick Offerman, the guy from Parks and Rec. I went on to Nick Offerman, or actually my wife, uh, I don't want to take credit where credit is not due. My wife, my wife went on to Nick Offerman's deal. You could buy his book for like 50 bucks or something. It was more expensive than regular, but he'd sign it personally. So I got a signed copy of the book and send it to my customer. Dude loves it and he knows I care about it. <laughs> so the, the trick is to be creative. Think of a uh, hundred, a dozen, a lot of different ways that you can give them value in advance so they know, like, and trust you before you need anything from them. And then when it's time to yeah. go... Is it going to be the kids that bought? Is it going to be the guy that bought their kid the dino truck and sent them the, the article and bust their chops all the time when their team wins or loses, or some stranger they don't know? And the good news is, all wow. of your competition is asking that same dumb question, which is, how do I know when they go to bid? You don't give two two craps about that because you you're like. Pfft when they go to bid, that's a year late. I've been, I've been making friends with this guys for nine months. Now you're going to try and show yeah. up now. You have no chance to compete with me. Does that make sense? <laughs> we got relationship. Yes. Relationship, relationship, relationship. And, uh, don't just wait for it to happen. Make it happen. Right. And again, that's a beautiful thing about a niche. When you've got 32,000 businesses, you could sell to, it's impossible to build a relationship with 32,000 people. But if you've got a niche of daycares, car dealerships, warehouses, restaurants, truck stops, whatever you want to do, there might only be a couple dozen or a couple hundred, uh, in your trading area. And I, I can tell you damn good and well, um, you can, in the next 12 months, make a personal relationship with, 49 people or 106 people. If that's your whole job when it comes to client attractions, just make a, build a relationship with these key people. Uh, you can do that. But so many people don't niche. They don't even know who the key people are. They want to do just exactly what we talked about at the beginning, which is I'll wait till it's for it to come up to bid. And uh, that's when I'll do it. The problem is the guy that's going up to bid has no relationships with anybody. And he's going to pick the cheapest guy, which guarantees that guy's not going to make any money. And then he's going to be pissed because the guy underbid it to get the job. But now he can't do the job because he didn't get enough money for it. And it just goes out to bid every six months. And the same group keeps chasing those same crumbs as opposed to behind the scenes, the the professionals, the nationwide guys, the big guys aren't even showing up to those bid walks. Or if they do, they got some new sales guy that they hardly pay anything at those bid walks. They're taking the right people out to dinner and building those relationships. Uh, and you guys don't even know what hit you. That I know, I know it's kind of a big wow. concept in a short time, but that's that's how this that's how this game plays. I'm I'm I'm, I'm listening to you, man, and I'm so appreciative uh, you took the time out with me. Um, I, I got some great ideas that you've given me already. You know, uh, tell what you was telling me about designating like warehouses, daycares, churches, you know, different designate one thing and then find out. How many how many relationships I can build? I'm oh my goodness, you got me on fire right now. I'm ready to go out and conquer the world. 
It's <laughs> almost <laughs> like I found a guy that I would like to do business with, gave him a bunch of value in advance, and he's like, I love you, man. So if and when you're ready to get help, you're probably not going to call seven yeah. guys and get a bid. You're going to call me and go, Mike, I, I want more. How can you help me? Um, yeah. And yeah. honestly, yeah. folks, I just started doing paid advertising. Um, but for two, the first two years of this podcast, everything we built was zero advertising, just this podcast. And we also do it on, we broadcast it on YouTube and I think we write a blog, but really just this podcast. And we've built, uh, easily a nice six figure business just on doing a podcast, nothing else. So that doesn't mean you have to do a podcast, yeah. although you certainly could, um, just create content, find a way to help your people in advance for nothing. And then you just build a big enough list. And I promise you right now I could email my 5,000 people and say, Hey, I've got a product or service or something that can help make your life great. We just did a live event. Oh my gosh. If you guys aren't going to live events, by the way, well, we just did a live event. I filled 16 spots in about a week and a half with like three emails, just emailed my people. Tickets weren't cheap. They sold out almost immediately. Uh, cause we got people that know, like, and trust us. That said, if you're that person that knows, like, and trust me, like, when can I get involved? How can I do it? Uh, we are going to, in June, in Orlando, I think this might be the first time I'm saying on the podcast, I'm not sure. Uh, June in Orlando, we are getting 16 owners of cleaning companies. The Phoenix one sold out. You can't come to that one. Um, but June in Orlando, I rented a big house uh, for all of us. We're all going to stay in the big house. We're going to stay for two and a half days. We're going to implement the entire clean profit method. Not talk about, not have me talk while you guys listen or kibitz. We are going to do it. There's not going to be any teaching. You guys are going to uh, get access to the clean profit method. All the attendees get it for free as part of their ticket. And wow. we are going to literally implement all nine steps together with 16 rock stars. Uh, Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash live for details. Sorry about that, Reginald. I switched topics real quick because I got fired up. But um, did that answer all your okay. questions, it's my friend? Okay. Um, you did, my friend. Thank you so very much. And I'm definitely going to stay in touch with you, man. Email, call, something. You, you know, I'm going to want to build relationships. That's what we're doing. We're building relationships. Beautiful. Thank and you're you the kind so of guy I want to have on. Uh, you're the kind of, kind of guy I want to have on in six months and have you tell your story. Like, hey, I was on the podcast. Might give me that, these ideas. Here's how I did them. And uh, now I'm a big fat rock star and everyone can be uh, want to be like Reginald. All right. Enough of me talking, <laughs> I, man. I'd love to. Let's hit the lightning round. I'm going to give you the opportunity to share uh, your 10 years of experience with the group. Uh, three quick questions. You're going to give three amazing answers. Question number one, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received, either personally or professionally? Bid bid yourself out. Not not don't you know bid yourself out low. You know, you just want you want to say yourself because you know your worth. Okay. Yeah, bidding that that's huge. So many people have that issue of I bid too low and you know better to better to lose a winner than win a loser, folks. Okay. Next question. What's the biggest mistake you've made in the cleaning business? So hopefully we can all learn from you and make brand new different mistakes. Um hiring some some of some family sometimes. That that was my biggest mistake because some, sometimes they call and say, hey, I can't get the work, but you still have to get the work done. And because they're family, they think that they can do that. And so I took my initiative to take time out and really sort out whom I want to hire, their integrity, and, and what they're about, what, you know, what their goals are. Um, that I've had that, that experience before. Great feedback. Uh, not that you could never hire family, but you – Definitely proceed with <laughs> caution, right? You got to know that there's a, it can be a little bit more of a rat's nest than maybe just a regular person off the street. Okay, last question. What's one idea Cleaning Nation could put into practice right away? Something easy to implement, really quick, that can make their lives or their business just a little bit better? You know, the, the encouragement that you give is real great. Um, I, I think that people just reaching out and wanting to find out. Um, I think you did, did an absolute fabulous, fabulous job myself. Um, I think you're doing a great job. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess the, the takeaway I would have from that, if you want something real quick, is to reach out, connect, find someone that uh, is kind of going where you want to go and can help you and reach out with them, whether it's this show, uh, the Facebook group, which is free, all the assets at growmycleaningcompany.com, or your good friend Google, right? If I'm not your cup of tea, there's probably somebody out there that uh, knows what you want to know and has been where you want to go and uh, grab them and get them to help you. Don't go, this, don't go this thing alone. All right, Reginald, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining us. Thank you for your passion, your experience, your desire to grow, cleaning if you want to check out Reginald's show notes page and everything that we make to help you grow your cleaning company, it is all at growmycleaningcompany.com. Uh, again, if you want information on the live events where you and me can hang out for two and a half days with 15 other bright young entrepreneurs, well, we'll, we'll accept some old folks too. Actually, I'm an old guy, so we'll, all of us. Uh, growmycleaningcompany.com <laughs> forward slash live. Check it out now. I will see you there. Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. 
Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry lovin' at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.